This uh, weekend Sunday is the uh, Twin Cities Marathon. The uh, forecast is for uh, 52 and sunny. So it'll be a good day for the race. Start off in downtown <laughs> Minneapolis and uh, head around the lakes, around Lake of the Isles and, uh, and around Calhoun and, uh, and uh, around uh, ba -ba 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 Harriet and uh, Nokomis and then uh, down the river road and cross over the river into St. Paul and over on, the, uh, on Summit Avenue all the way to the uh, cathedral and uh, then down the hill to uh, the finish line there at the state capitol where they get a can of beer at the, at the finish line. If you are not running in the marathon uh, tomorrow, it's okay. There are reasons not to. It's very hard on your feet. If you uh, weigh 175 pounds, every step you run, your feet uh, hit the pavement with a force of 700 pounds. And they do that 15,000 times. There's gastrointestinal stress as well out there. Hope that doesn't back up on you. And uh, back pain as well. Oh, body is flooded with stress hormones. For about 24 hours after a race, you have very high levels of coagulation markers in your blood, which are associated with heart attacks. And uh, your blood pressure goes way up. Men may have bleeding nipples. Oh, what is happening to me? Oh, my God. Men in their 40s and 50s are especially uh, susceptible. It's terribly hard on your knee cartilage. Uh, it's been linked to osteoarthritis and degeneration and microfractures, softening of the kneecap, the inflammation of the iliotibial ligament, and Achilles tendonitis, and perhaps the ripping of a tendon. So, there's time for you to think this over. <laughs> Don't mean to discourage you, but if you have small children, if you have small children, Father, don't run in the marathon. Stay home and take a nice nap. You're 50 years old and your legs are half gone and your tendons are likely to snap. Or you could stop cause you need to go potty and be knocked down by mistake. And 10,000 runners run over your body and pound you into a pancake. Stay home, stay home, stay home. Dear Father, please Father, stay home. Father, don't run in the marathon race. Your family is pleading with you. You're likely to need your right hip replaced and maybe a couple knees too. You'd need six weeks of convalescence, need to be fed, bathed, and dressed. And we are busy with our adolescence, and frankly, Dad, you'd be a pest. Stay home, stay home, stay home. Dear Father, please, Father, stay home. Father, don't try to run 26 miles. You're likely to injure your back. Or come home trembling, weeping, senile, the effects of a big heart attack. And six hours later, homeward you'd walk with the lame and the halt and the cripples. And imagine how the neighbors would talk if they looked and saw your bleeding nipples. Stay home, stay home, stay home. Please, Father, dear Father, stay home. Just a thought. <laughs>